We live in the Paris Museum. You can see. Like that. Hello again. Welcome to another episode of Luis M. A. Visits. Today I continue the second part of my visit to Miami Museums as I left the Miami Art Museum. I'm walking down the Museum Park Baywalk where you can see behind me the bridge is the MacArthur Causeway which connects to Miami Beach and South Beach. Shortly after you'll see where the cruise ships dock and at the cruise terminal in Port of Miami. And uh, as we walk down the bay walk, uh, we'll go into the front of the FTX Arena. I believe that you'll see docks. Um, I was told that on game night for the Miami Heat, there are people who have yachts and stuff that dock in front of the arena and just walk towards the towards the game so i hope you enjoy this part uh, as we walk from the paris museum to the frost science museum here we are in biscayne boulevard Game Boulevard here, we're near the metro. Walk for a bike beach. Next to the Frost Museum and the Paris Museum behind me. Very nice walk. A lot of things to see and, and eat. And right there you have the metro. After a quick bite at Sagrado Cafe, a Brazilian bistro, we walk through Maurice A. Ferret Park, where the Museum Park Bay Walk is, towards the Philip and Patricia Frost Museum of Science. Exhibit, which is open until November 5th, you see the history of fictional detective stories in crime solving. They show you a little bit about how to solve crimes and they have a crime to solve. So you have to collect clues and come to your own conclusions to solve the crime. It's to test blood spatter. Bloodstain pattern is found at a crime scene. It can give investigators an important piece of the puzzle as to how an offense occurred. Besides, this point, I'm going to leave the case. 
planetarium. Uh, the first museum. This composite image of Stefan Quartet using data from two different instruments, together they reveal huge areas of star formation and even show two galaxies colliding in the center of the image. This landscape of mountains and valleys speckled with glittering stars is actually the edge of a nearby young star forming region called Adrian Art Center. an aquarium here in the middle of the Frost Museum, Science Museum. It does smell like fish here. No me gusta este acuario pero huele a, huele a pescado. <risa> wow, de su
Aviary. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Megascopes Asu. Rock steak. Los finos que llegan aquí arriba donde estamos. Mira qué chiquito sale la gente. Gente, gente. ¿Qué gente? Wow. Ah, mira, sí. Pobres animales están aquí. <risa> ¿Qué? Se los pensé que. Crowd share. Frost Museum, they close at 7 by the way, 30 doors, 29.95 or 97, something like that. The entrance, um, beautiful view, 7 o'clock, that's when they close on a Sunday at least. And here you have the sound uh, science experiment. Check it, put it here so it's clear. I'm listening perfectly, Nareli. No, creo que Alejandro tiene un problema de, de, de oído. <risa> Aquí tienes los um, elevadores. Y podemos caminar hacia el metro. El inner circle. Esto es el inner circle. Again, free metro, which is uh, great, it should be, for uh, Miami. <laughs> and here is all you can see from here. Center Station. Transfer here for Interloop, Miami Avenue, and Government Center Stations. There are three lines that coincide, and you can pick any one of them. The Miami Commercial Center. We're walking down Brickell Avenue, or around Brickell Avenue. 